to infinity and beyond. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? He actually did it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Biz Siege. I am so happy to be able to say that. Because I feel like, you know, I've almost been neglecting Besiege episodes, or at least that's what it feels like. That's not what I'm actually doing. And I want to explain myself before I get into the episode. Don't worry, I will make this quick. So right off the bat, I get freaking nervous when there's a new development post out from the developers. And that's not because I'm thinking, oh, they're about to fuck up the game. Because, well, that's not the thing. The thing about it is, that means an update is coming very, very soon. At least, that's sort of an indication that I feel for myself. And that means that I'm forced to do an episode when that update comes. But but, you know, I kind of thought, why not just get this one out and then I'll take the other one or whatever because I want to get freaking Besiege out. And trust me, guys, trust me when I tell you, after Besiege episode 100, there's going to be so much Besiege, you're about to vomit Besiege up. I don't know what the hell that means, but I'm excited and I'm super freaking happy that I can finally get some awesome Besiege out to you guys. But either way, let's go ahead and take a look at this. This, ladies and gentlemen, hang on a second. What the fuck? Is it pinned or something? Is it is it pinned? Hang on a second, I should probably check up on that. No, it doesn't seem to me there's any pin blocks. This is the driving mode, and then we can of course also turn around. Oh, it's a little bit strange to actually drift around with this. Actually, the drifting itself is quite nice, but oh, the control and sort of getting a feel for where you are with it, that's a totally different thing. Right, so let's see how fast it is, because Phnom 3, who is the creator of this one, holy crap, right, that was probably not supposed to happen, but okay, oh, wh what? What the hell was that? It just exploded. But actually the creator, Phnom 3, was also the one who made the bookshelf in the previous episode. And I said, please, for the love of God, make the next creation truly stunty. And that he has indeed done. So let's just get up right now, I guess. Uh this yes yes exactly and then you can pitch it back and forwards oh oh hang on a second the controls are a little bit weird because he did try to make it truly stunty eh fuck hang on a second let's go up instead can oh fuck i don't know what's going on anymore this is not easy to fly around and that's also what he said on the page and i believe this is well again because it is a stove but also because he's trying to make it truly stunty yeah there's there's sort of the thing like it's not really aerodynamically stable in any way now we're doing a core screw or like an inverse like core screw or whatever I don't even know and now I freaking destroyed it or at least smashed something off of it yeah, this is going great, isn't it? Okay, so let's try this, because if I just kind of tap the controls a little bit, and then make it go absolutely straight, and then forwards, and then just kind of backwards a little bit, then we should be able to make the loop. This is flipping in the air, but it indeed is kind of truly stunty, at least. I'm trying to just reset this every single time, because it is just a little bit fiddly with the controls, like I said, so, uh, uh, uh there. Right, and then the roll, if we cannot get interrupted by the friggin' tree, we didn't get interrupted. <laughs> We got interrupted by the ground just now, but that's a different thing. All right, well, now for the awesome stuff, because this one indeed is an oven. Okay, so that's one, actually, but number two and number three is closing and opening this gate here. So I assume number four would be turning up the dials there. That's pretty cool. Now, you see in there, there's a very, very small plow in the upper section of the oven. I believe that is number six, and then that is simply, oh my god, look at that. Look at that, that is so freaking awesome because it's just heating up like that. It actually looks like a genuinely, like a grill thing on top of the oven. Now, one more thing. Is this, where, oh fuck, why, okay, right, that's a bomb. <laughs> I should stay away from those. But like I was trying to say, Mr. Bomb, is that uh, this one is not weaponized. But that does not mean we cannot destroy stuff with it. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> All right, so destruction commence. Please? Yes, there we go. <laughs> it only took a tree. What the hell? Hey, come back here. You're not done. Then we may as well just give it from the, uh, what is it, the first or rather the third person view. Yeah, that's better. Uh, it's it's kind of failing already, but that is also to be expected. I mean, I guess this... Oh, fuck. Okay, now it's tumbling over when I'm trying to fly. That's a little bit weird. Or at least go forwards like not fly because flight mode is not activated. But let's see how it behaves now after uh, f uh, one... Can I, can I press one? Oh my goodness, I have knocked out the flight mechanism. Okay, okay, all right, sorry. This is still freaking amazing. I just gotta say that because he's noticing every single little detail in an oven and then actually putting it on here. And I love the small dials up here as well. That is just so freaking cool. But the main touch to this that I really love, other than, of course, the flying, is that in there. Because it's almost kind of like it's flashing up and down in luminosity just a little bit. And that gives off a really nice aesthetic. I mean, it is kind of hidden from this view. But still, it's awesome. Okay, guys, next up is this. This is 
an ice skater and this is actually very well made now obviously all of these newer creations they're easy to use so they got this rotation to center steering or ro re 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 return to center steering is what i meant to say and that means that if you let go of a button then that returns to the original position before you started to turn with somebody well it's a little bit different here but either ways as you can see right here when i try to turn to one side he does and he does not move back his legs so this means oh crap hang on a sec ah, ah, okay right i still need to get the hang of this i guess he said that there was also a different way god damn it can you stop can you okay thank you this looks good it's gonna turn stop 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 moving okay i think i found it where you can move the legs in like a different position that would be the kicking position which is looking <laughs> rather strange but okay you can do sort of an ice shuffle oh 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 he's dancing oh he's dancing oh uh, this is so awesome i am very worried he's gonna fall but that's not my problem oh this actually looks like a real shuffle this is so freaking cool <laughs> he's just spinning around look at that Oh my god, hang on a second. Can we just spin around forever? This is amazing. This is now my favorite creation ever. Hooey, let's go the other way. <laughs> I guess that was not supposed to happen, but we also spun him around for quite a while. So he indeed did lose his head. Literally. Now we just did go below the map there, so let's just see about this. Yeah, those are a lot of blocks that are scaled up. Actually not that many, but it looks very, very awesome because it's just a skating ring. There's nothing else to it. But also everything below it here, that is individual blocks as well. And it's really well made because you don't necessarily fall through the cracks here. It doesn't get caught on anything. Now let's just see about this because I don't know if this is going to be good at 200%, but I'm still just going to try. Oh, fucking hell. Well, this is a lot more sensitive. So let's just try. Fuck. Well, that that I did not mean to do. Let's go the other, go the other way. Ah, fuck. Ah, go the other way. Go the other. This is impossible to control at 200%. Oh, my shuffle again. Oh, he's shuffling again like this. This is freaking awesome. It's like a really cool shuffle thing, actually. Like, I'm not gonna put on the every day I'm shuffling because I'm afraid it's gonna get a copyright strike, but this... Oh man, this is awesome. Oh, this is so freaking cool. We could just dance all night long. And even the arms got a little bit of action. I think maybe those are ragdolls. I'm just gonna have to see about that in here. Are those ragdoll? Yeah, they are pretty damn limp. I mean, this is a Phnom 3 creation, so there's obviously bound to be a little bit of ridiculousness implemented into it. Why do I always say it like that? But either ways, when you press V, this happens. You go to infinity and beyond. Wait, hang on a second. Hang on a second. That was not well said. I need to do that better. To infinity and beyond. Oh, look at this. Look what I figured out. We can actually turn him in the air if we use the arrow keys to our advantage. So I guess if the legs go up enough, there's some sort of a mechanism inside that triggers. I mean, it is very complex and very compact too, just because of the freaking size. I mean, look at this. This is not exactly the biggest machine, but it's still freaking awesome. I absolutely adore the ice skating. Like just anything that Phnom makes is really... Oh, okay. Well, it froze, so I didn't even <laughs> need to do that. But either ways, anything that Phnom makes is freaking amazing. And just something like this too i mean how the hell does he make this up how how all right guys so next up today we have this this is the tomb stalker and the tomb stalker looks absolutely amazing actually it features a different skin pack like all the green stuff up top was supposed to be a different one it looked green before on the page but i couldn't find it that skin pack was simply gone from the workshop so instead i thought i would put on something that kind of gave it the aesthetics and also the sides here is pretty much the only thing that i've recolored everything else is exactly the same but either ways First off, we have this, and this is the fire breathing, and this looks so freaking awesome. Like, again, all these small details with the skin pack that can really just make this look buggy as all hell. And I'm not talking about bug as in a game bug, like, you obviously know what I mean. Another thing that looks a little bit buggy is this, and those are actually wheels, but they're supposed to be eyes, right? So if you go just a little bit more out, like, it's, it's very not noticeable, but it definitely is there. Like, it's not noticeable, but it is noticeable. I am screwing up my own brain today, I think. So either way, yes, the fire breathing there, that's all well and good. But then you have two laser arms. And these laser arms, they can obviously go up and down. But you may be thinking, well, lasers, we don't have lasers in Besiege. I say, uh, do we? Yeah, we do. And then when you deselect these lasers or deactivate them, an explosion occurs, which is pretty freaking cool. So this is obviously a mod that you need, but this is actual firing laser. Like, once upon a time, I did, like, a very, very old laser mod, and that was my 
my first, like, really good video, not viral video, I still haven't gone viral, but you guys know what I mean, right? Either ways, there are lasers on this, and it is absolutely badass. Now, before we take a little stroll around the sandbox, I would like to show you the attack stance, I guess you can call it, and you need invincibility mode for this, so let's try... It is a little bit slow, there's a lot of blocks, not too sure how many there is, but okay. Is this good? Does this work? Yes, okay, so it is, again, just a little bit slow, but we can actually level it up. Oh, this is so freaking cool, so it only lifts, like, the first couple of these sections here, I guess. Oh, it's going up just a little bit more. Either way, if you want to go down, you simply press the same key and then hold left control. So I guess if you're supposed to press the same key again and then go down, then there's some sort of mechanism that maybe toggles it to stay up there. Uh, let's get the speed up to 50%. There we go. Oh, it is still a little bit laggy when I turn around, so maybe just a little bit more below. And yeah, that's actually lower than what I had before. But okay, let's, let's just go with it, like 50%. We can always tune it down, right? These are all just like similar sections, and then I guess the walking has been inversed, but it's still freaking amazing. I really want the camera block here, but that's apparently not gonna happen. But you know what is gonna happen? Ha, uh, this! And we're, we're apparently just gonna burn a few of these guys. Uh, how did I control these again? Uh, up and down, there we go. Let's just burn a few tents. Nothing is ha- okay, there we go. Oh, look at this, look at this, I just create infinite explosions. Oh, this is so cool, I probably shouldn't do that, because every single time this explosion or the lasers stop, then explosion occurs, right? So I need to not overdo that too much, but it's still freaking fun just to kind of explode everything. Look at that, it's like some sort of an 80s sci-fi horror movie. Alright, so it's time to give this one some worthy enemies! Uh, yeah, yeah, they are already coming, so it is all about firing away with the explosions. I figured, why not just kind of- figured? Can you figure something? I figured, or I figured. That's strange. But either way, as I kind of figured that if I was to make this as efficient as possible, then I would simply have to spam the explosions, right? But these guys, they're more intelligent, which means that they sort of move around that. Now, this is a mod, so I'm not too sure if that actually counts for modded blocks as well. Either way, I can still move if my legs will carry me, so... Oh, f uh, hang on a second. I, I need to seriously switch the camera angle. I mean, the walking is incredibly smooth right now. It definitely is, and even when all of these small soldiers are below us, causing a bunch of chaos, it doesn't matter. So I guess the turning is gonna be the enemy here, but fear not, for I can still turn my head and just kind of turn the laser along with it. Uh, this, uh, yeah, this is laggy. Yeah. I am, I am gonna stop this, but it's still freaking amazing to actually see how this works, and I guess I can still spam a few explosions quite like this. Okay, so it refuses to go to the other side right over there. I'm just gonna try to uh, turn a little bit more. Please, walk, walk, and then explosion, and then more explosions. I, I, I give up. This is a little bit too strange for me. Sorry, guys. All right, so the lag is gone, but awesomeness is not. This is, yeah, exactly that. Awesome. This is a dragon that I found on uh, BesiegedDownloads.com, and it said werewolf. Well, he started off with a dragon, and I don't think this looks like a werewolf, but it, either way, this is freaking awesome. This is basically an alligator on steroids. And let's go forward. Now, this is a very, very cool walking system. I like the sort of, well, I don't want to say cheating, because, like, I don't think anything is really cheating in this game, but this right here, it's sort of a stability measure to the walking system. But this is freaking awesome. It even looks just a little bit natural, sort of the way that it's wagging the tail just slightly, and speaking of wagging the tail, let's just whack that tree there as well, but also like the head bumping up and down, it looks semi-natural. What I mean by that, by the way, is not this, like obviously animals, they don't do something like this, even though it's a head banging freaking dragon or whatever, yeah, it said werewolf, but either way, like head banging freaking awesome creation, that's what I'm gonna call it, but that's not what I mean by popping the head up and down, but when they walk, just naturally, also cats or humans for that matter, like every single living thing has that sort of motion that gives off to the rest of the body depending on how it's moving. Well, hello there, buddies! Let me just get that annoying thing out of the way and breathe fire! And a lot of it too, please. Oh wait, hang on. Oh yeah, okay, so that is a, uh, yeah, that's a toggling fire. That's very nice. They just took my back legs! Oh, oh no, no! No, it was going so well and now everything is terrible! And yes, you guessed it. Here they are, let's get ready to, like, kill or whatever. I was about to say rumble, but that doesn't really make any sense. Can I please burn somebody down? Nobody's catching on fire. Let's, uh, uh fucking hell. All right, let's turn around here. So what I want to try to do, just do some sort of a normal turning and then hopefully be able to smack some of these guys with the tail, which is just apparently not working. Okay, this is actually going pretty damn well, but the exterior of the creation itself is also just blades, right? So it's bound to do some sort of damage. And now the damage has been done to me. 
Right. But, 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 let's move you up and then smack you down. <laughs> yes, beautiful. Oh, man. And another one. And a hair right there. This is, oh, my goodness. I don't even know what I'm doing, but it's freaking funny. God, you know what, guys? I miss this. Hang on a second. I'm just going to stop it right there. I miss this. I miss Besiege. And I want to do more, but Besiege episode 100, like, you guys know that. You've heard that. But I want to do more because I miss Besiege. And don't worry, my plan is not to get rid of Besiege. Trust me. Because after episode 100, it will fundamentally change the way that I do Besiege content. And it's going to be awesome. And there's going to be a lot of it. Yeah, I don't really know why I kind of went into that, but that's okay. So let's try the fire breathing with the turning of the head too. Because you can't actually turn the head. See, nobody's catching on fire. Let's try the left side there. They're sort of approaching a little bit better. I guess maybe these guys are bugged out just a little bit. Okay, some of them are on fire now. Or they just, yeah, they're making me go on fire. This is freaking great. But either ways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to some more Besiege. Like I said, after Besiege 100, trust me. Just trust me. There's going to be so much more Besiege and so much more content in general. Because I am planning on doing a completely channel revamp. But either ways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to some more Besiege. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.